like, oh yeah, it's another pirate's game. And today we had a great loot from the looting thingy. Yeah, here's a treasure. Yeah. Ooh, a lot of coins. And each coin has a different value from one to six. Okay, so I'm going to be fair. I'm going to take the one and you can take the three, okay? And uh, I'll also take the two, just to be fair. And you can take the four and I take the rest. Just, just, just. Is that, isn't that fair? But you get three and four and I just get one and two and five and six. Okay, how about this? You split, but I will choose which pile I'll take. Is that okay? Great. Hello. These coins here, they're not uh, coins by themselves, they're just the turn order tokens. So um, depending on how many players you are, you just use a uh, set amount of them. But it, it goes to six players. Uh, me, as the captain this round, I'll choose the loot and I will show it to all of you. Ah, this is the loot we have. Now it's my job to divide it by you. So I will make a pile. So I'm going to take this one and this one and maybe sugar. So pistol and Portuguese flag and sugar. And you also become the third player for next round. So let's check here. The, I am the captain, so I don't get anything. Does purple player want it? No. Does green want it? No. Does blue want it? No. Then I can get away with it, uh, lastly. But, so, no one wants it? I, I don't want it either, because I know it's, it's crap. So I'm gonna add this one, I'm gonna change uh, this one, like this here. Okay, now do you want it? And we go on the like this until every player has gotten some something. And if I'm not careful about how I divide it, I might get up with nothing. Uh, but there are different valuables uh, among the loot. So we have different colors, as you see. We have the yellow ones, which are just equal to the points that's printed on them. And we have the green ones, and they are dependent on this chart here. And this chart can be uh, altered by treasure cards, such as this one. And um, and uh, the flags here are points by themselves, but we also have letters of mark. They like look like this. Uh, if the letter of marks, uh, they they are kind of you know, the United's blessing in attacking other ships. So if I have this one and this one, it gives me points. But if I accidentally attack my own ships, I will get negative points. A lot of them. Uh, then we have the red ones, and they will allow me to place out tokens on the map here, on the islands, and they will score points. Maybe, because they won't score points unless all of the spaces here are filled and there's always one space missing, so one island will not be scored. So someone has to take the zero point at some time. Then we have these uh, light blue uh, artifacts here and uh, they're worth uh, points, m many points by themselves, but not duplicates. And you have, let's see if you can find it, well, you also have a Bible and rum, and you have to choose between them. You want uh, the Bible or the rum, so if you have a lot of both, you can only score for one set of them. So the game is basically, I split and you choose. And we go on like this until the deck is empty, the loot is divided, and we score. That's it. Well, there is one more thing. These, this pile here, these will be... Uh, each player will get, get one dealt out to them, and they, they show a secret objective that you may score extra points on. Other than that, it is I split and you choose. Well, I lied a bit. Because I'm not the captain dividing the loot, I'm the quartermaster. And the quartermaster can go around the table depending on who wants to be a quartermaster, because you can actually choose. Uh, the quartermaster, well, he divides the loot, that's true, but... He also does this, he has some cards that you don't know what is. So let's say I'm gonna make some, your treasure, I'm gonna make a pile of, uh, oh, look at this. Uh, not bad, not good with the rum and Bible. But let's say this and I'll add this card with uh, the turn order token. You don't know what this is, it's a face down card. I do, but do you want it? Maybe it is a letter of mark against one of those flags. Maybe it's something you do want, but uh, you don't really know that, do you? But I do. So there is that little excitement about it. But aside from that, the game is very basic. There is nothing new here that this game brings. It just uh, adds uh, uh, different sets of cards you can collect and score on. And there's nothing else other than that. It looks kind of nice, it's, even though it's those Mayfair components, which uh, I don't really care for. But uh, it's an okay game. 
I don't hate it. It might take a bit long if you have a quartermaster who is very bad at dividing the loot. So I make a pile and no one wants it, okay I make a new pile and no one wants it, and I make a new pile and no one wants it, and so forth and so forth. That's not very fun. But the game is totally, totally fine. I can't praise it, but uh, that's how it is. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for watching this episode of uh, Talkers Reviews. I hope I see you again in the next one. Until then, have fun gaming. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.